Morning, kitties. Morning, the M O N Secret Kitchen. Oh yeah. That's what we're making. We're making <laughs> more messes. That's right. We're making all kinds of things, actually. I just wanted to check in, and I wanted to show you all. We're about to these cute little mason jars that I found, and you know, um. Anyways, I found them at Michael's, and I'm not getting any plugs for that. But they are. <laughs> I mean, whatever. So, um, yeah, and we're going to write on them. We're going to write applesauce. No, we're going to write apple. Yeah, we're going to write applesauce and apple butter because we're making both. Because that's what you do when you make apple butter. You start out with applesauce. Isn't that gorgeous? That's pretty, eh? That's pretty. Let's take a pretty picture. Let's try to crop the dishes out. That's prep. Freaking homesteady, isn't it? Okay, so here we go. Look at it. Can you hear it? It's not bacon. It's sitting in there. It's, um, we're going to put a lot more apples. We're going to put all those apples into in here. So we're going to add a little more cinnamon. And we've already put some... We're going to put some organic sugar in here. Because... You know, we're working with apples, and as evil as they are, we could probably put, cook them with good things, right? You know, add some organic sugars to, um, <laughs> uh, the arsenic. <laughs> there you go. You. And, uh, so here we go. And I'm going to try and film this here. We'll try and keep this short, peeps. You know, God knows, you know. Kind of short. People are busy. So, what I'm doing is obviously... Okay, let's see if it works. See if you can see. Um, maybe I'll turn it this way. Is it better? Big old apple in the way. Can you see? I got it. Oh! Okay, here we go. So, yeah. You, you take it off and you put it on. I mean, you put it on. And uh, that'll be nice. That's more photo op -y. Okay, and then we, and here's the blade. It's really sharp, and this is really sharp too. Just so you know. Can you see? Can you even say, kids? Okay, I don't know. I need my. my <laughs> we can hide them. That's what just claws are for. Okay, and then, uh, yeah. So here we go. Um, I washed my hands, of course. Of course. Okay, so there's a really sharp blade on here. Um, for those of you that never done this before, it's kind of dangerous. So do all be careful. Um, I'll just take you for a quick round through this thing. Look, that's a really sharp fucking blade. Do not touch, kitties. This is a really sharp blade too. This right here. Where, where are we? Before I cut myself. <laughs> There, that's the sharp blade. That's the blade that peels. This is the blade that cutteth. This is the blade that cuts. This cores it, right? And then when it comes out, it comes out like really cool. And usually when I peel apples, I like to peel apples like, um, what's his name? Randy Griffith. I always think of him when I'm peeling apples. I hope you can see this. So then you just crank it in like a log splitter. <laughs> it makes me want to get one. I'm like, oh my god, we could split kindling with this. And uh, it's on a little spring down there, this knife. This um, peeling knife. Barry's just getting the apple skins on the floor. And so it does have a spring. And it's supposed to... Something happened. We lost it. Oh, we lost it in the film. Well, because things happen, obviously. It didn't core. Okay, so we're going to show you what happens when you fuck up. And then we're going to show you how to do it right. Everything's sharp. So you have to... Don't be too silly. So that didn't work because we didn't get the core. Can you see? Are you cross-eyed? I'm an asshole. So here we go. Um, we'll just put that in there. And we're going to drop that in there for the uh, apple cider. In the apple cider um, section. Of what's going on? Okay, so here we go. This is a bigger apple. 
beautiful. We have two kinds of apples, and that's a nice way to make your apple butter and your apple uh, sauce. You know, because they have different consistencies, flavors, and acidic levels. Um, so I don't know. Oh, I hope that goes through. Can you see? Is it going to make it bullseye? You got to kind of center it, and you got to kind of keep that together in your in your brain when you're doing this. I might not work it. Oh God! It's because I'm filming. Now all other ones work. Okay, so at the beginning, I, I, I've been, there's a lever here that you can, if I was on a, a flat, um, non-porous counter, this is wood, obviously, pretty porous, but uh, you can clamp it down. But, um, and so this spring seems to be a little bit unset. I don't know who makes this thing gadget, but it's absolutely adorable. So then I'm going to let it go and let it do its, oh, it's see if it'll reposition itself and start the coring process and then hopefully it'll go right through but it's cutting it as well at the same time um you'll see here stop eating these see and then it doesn't want to spring back in there so we're going to do some adjusto mundos and then watch this is so fun can you see oops i'm kind of retarded this is a lovely apple but it's Oh, we'll see and it just cuts it all up. So what I'm doing is I'm that was a bit retarded, wasn't it? The gala apples are um not as grainy, if I can use that word. They're not as grainy. But what I'm doing is I'm taking the we're composting this, we're making dirt. I love days like today because Whenever you're prepping, you're making dirt. And uh, today we're making beautiful dirt. But you can see that it it peeled it and it actually made it in a ring if you want to be all gourmet fancy. But see, there's some pieces on here, so I'm just throwing the ones that have skin into the bucket that I'm going to actually um, make into the cook way down into the butt, into apple butter after the, the um, completely peeled ones here are become applesauce then we'll throw in the other apples and let's see if we can uh, we can be more survivalist <laughs> I mean you know because you just gotta um, keep going and put it in there straight and then it'll make it straight over there and maybe we'll do it this way can you? there oh look it's they're organic I suppose we could take that out and, and this is kind of silly want to pull a worm out and say hi worm you know what we'll just let's leave him and see if a worm climbs out you guys watch for the worm you see there you watch for the worm <laughs> we'll try another one Let's try a crispy out of one. Ah, maybe it'll work better. So today, I don't know you guys, I hope this continues to roll, but today I got hit in the head. I went out this morning. Let me see if this lined up, because it wasn't, it was working fine when I started, and now that I, as soon as I turn the camera on, I'm, it's not coring and running properly. I walked out this morning onto the deck and instantly got hit in the head. <laughs> Here we go, watch, can you see? God, I hope you can see. I instantly got hit in the head by a hummingbird. Now, you guys all, I don't know, your west coast out here, you know that the hummingbirds are usually a, a spring thing and they come out every year and we fill up our hummingbird or feeders and, uh, and the hand in the way. And, um, and, uh, you know, and they start doing their, their spring thing. I mean, there was this cool video in California. Uh, this woman did this very heartfelt, you know, uh, documentary on this little hummingbird family that had two birds. Oh, they only have two because there's the nests are small and they outgrow them really quickly. But anyways, um in march in california now we're up here in the west coast 
Vancouver Southwest Southwesterners here. So we're putting that beautiful ring. Wasn't that lovely? I thought we'd meditate on that for a fucking minute. Anyways. <coughs> so I went outside this morning to smoke and cough. Excuse me. And have my coffee and and see the whoa that went that went straight that shot straight into the is the worm coming out Ooh, anybody else? um oh no there's a I, I um a hummingbird feeders out there that froze around Christmas time we had a you know snow we had white Christmas crazy never seen before here <laughs> we've had them before and after but. We'll, we'll pray for 50 years for white Christmases. We just haven't seen them in a long time. So we have one this year. And, um, and Boxing Day, I'm out. Wow, he's not feeling really well. Um, the, on Boxing Day, I, uh, a hummingbird visited me when I was out. Again, out on the deck, this little enclosure that I built. Um, uh, sort of a gazebo thing, private, semi-private lattice and raised bed gardens. I that was my mission last year, and um, I. <laughs> and these are so much this. Um, the, these are much softer than the. These are Spartans. They're much softer than the gala. Um, that's why we like to use two different apples for the different textures and just the way to cook down and it's lovely. You can specialize your sauce and say this is gala sauce or gala butter or whatever the hell you want it to do really, but wormy. Um but yeah that's um that's the difference and you can see it and feel it and taste it. You know, some some kids don't like apples because their mamas and papas love these favorite apples they love and they're just as grainy as shit and and who wants to eat an apple like that when you want a crisp, juicy, not sour, not sweet apple? It's sometimes hard to find. Anyway, these are gorgeous. This time of year, you know, they're all gonna, all the fruit's gonna, not gonna be super fresh, but that gives lots of sugars. They concentrate while they sit there. These kinds of, whoops, these kinds of, um, you know, like the root vegetables and and your canning vegetables and fruits and stuff, so, um, I don't know what I was saying, also go outside with my coffee and my smoke, that's a microwave and I could just keep the thing and disable this paper, please, I'm like, coffee, it's such a mess, but it's a fun mess. Okay, coffee has to happen and these and this watch will spill it. Um so so that's it, right? And then it look at it, it cores it, that's the core, and we put them in the compost and all this is going in the compost. You know, unless you wanna make some fucking dehydrated apple jewelry out of it or you don't get no fucking tarted crafty. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, so we're gonna back it up. We're gonna keep going. Keep some more to go. And so this is two bags of apples, and I guess it will render, out of one bag of apples, I got uh, two applesauce, maybe uh, quarter pints or whatever, and one, uh, um, three, four, four, three, one, two, three, four uh, jars of, that works much better, four jars of, uh, See, that's the gala. Okay, what the hell? What does it say? Somebody read this. Your children. The books in, can you see? Read it to me. <laughs> Alright, so that's what this is. Doesn't that see how it holds together and how it's got that? 
that uh, crisp crunch. Anyways, so that's what we're doing, kitties. We're up all night long making toques for the look at the neat ribs that leaves them. This will make fast compost. This is going to heat up really fast. This is this is carbon. Get your carbon matter at it. So, oh, you got this poor little worm. Too scared to come out. I don't blame him. So this is fun. This is um not mine. It's my daughter's. Believe it or not. Families, bunch of culinary kings and queens, and don't mind experimenting. Let's see, it's not the spring doesn't own. That's okay. So, because we're using it, we're using these apples in two different ways. I want part of the skins for the butter, and part and the non. Um, whoops, there's one for the dog. Berries, do you like apples? Apple treats on the floor. Clean up time. Look, there's clean up time down here. See? I'm gonna do apple clean up. Yuki can help. Yuki's helping. So, yeah, so we're just, you know, I mean, usually I just peel these. Like, like, uh, I usually just peel them and I get a lot of joy, actually out of peeling an apple and so we're just going to do that if the camera didn't run out it's still going so you know we'll take off the let's take one of these nicer apples i should turn that down it sounds a bit high doesn't it okay so i love peeling apples and, and machines are fun and gadgets are fun and one of the things i always have enjoyed about doing um, apples and wrapping and stuff is the is the um, actual hands-on no machine style of old world unnecessary things were unnecessary because they were uncooking necessary or you just you know automated what so you know we peeled an apple and not only did we peel it all one, <laughs> and we can make totally make jewelry out of this dehydrated apple chew necklaces. Can you see it? Can you not? <laughs> I'm all over this like a fat kid on a smarty man. Anyways, and so then after that, I just um, you know, I suppose well, yeah, I don't want to cut it, but with the thing, I want to show you how I do it. Here's one from my dad's old grapefruit, my grandfather, my gra grandmother's old grapefruit knife. It's wooden. It's beautiful, you know, and so my life, I just, I love these things. It's only sharp on one side, serrated, and, and we just do things old school, right? And what's neat by when you do it with your hands is that you can take as much of this apple as you want, you know, and you don't have to rely on that precision of the machine which misses a lot and that's great for the garden if you want to throw half your apples in the fucking garden because you've got no topsoil that's great too but I mean look I think I just cut that apple about as fast as that machine did and better so granted I didn't have it stuck on the ground and it probably needs an adjustment like a, you know but we'll our, our first uh, thought was maybe to do some kindling press chop <laughs> kindling chopping in this thing I thought it was funny because I'm silly I thought oh look we could it's a lot it's a press it's a because I'm like how does this work I'm too blind to read the instructions oh it backs up good 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 yes we put the apple in here oh good good yeah and then you know and so I stuck it in and I was like okay try not to cut yourself first I touched everything and I went oh my god that's sharp that's sharp too <laughs> like a kid right and so this is what I write and this you can see it's sort of working right and then it shoves it through and then I and it shoves it through and we'll pull it off and there's the core and yeah it got pretty much it did pretty good right Oops, I think it was we did it we did pretty good it I would clean all that out and you know add add it but 
and there's our oops, gala apple and we'll use that whole one because it didn't peel it where shit for apple butter but that's okay we need more apple butter than we need applesauce and so isn't that awesome that's what I'm doing these would be apple butter butter was in less grand so I thought I'd show you all what I'm doing and I won't put you through the last few apples and warm me then we'll come out did we already did we do them did we do oh, there's another he can have a warmy friend oh we did worm's gone he's sauce I think I don't know anyways you guys that's um what's going on in the MOM kitchen and um I just thought I'd tell you that and I thought I'd share a, a little bit of what the fuck's been going on and hope that you enjoy all that little um tutorial on now not to peel an apple and how to peel an apple and um I guess we're gonna obviously take forever. So we're gonna cook it down for hours and hours and hours. For those of you that do not know what it is our apple butter apples. And there's our compost. And there's our there's coffee grounds and all sorts of things. And here, this is how I make dirt. I make it with coffee grounds and and carrot and all the this is how we make dirt. And we take it outside and we add leaves to it and we add small, you know, anything, anything rotting. And we let it heat up and then we put it on the garden and we grow things like... Oh, we're just growing apples, but we grow other shit. We make, um, oh, we make oregano oil. We grow a lot of oregano. Can you see that in there? We have to shake this. It's oregano oil. It's infused. I shake the crap out of it every day. And you're supposed to put it in a sunny window, but I always laugh in the winter. I'm like, sunny window? I live in a basement suite. Or a freaking rabbit. Down the rabbit hole here. Down the rabbit hole of imagination. Yes. Now, I'm trying to show you the color of the... Whatever. We're inside. We're inside. In the secret kitchen. So we have the curtains closed in the secret kitchen. <laughs> it keeps it secret. It wouldn't be secret, would it? Anyways, this is all I'm going to show you. It's double pumpkin. And when you bring the pine cones in, they open up. When you take them outside, and the pine cones are all naked, then they get, uh, they tighten up again and they hold on to their seeds. Isn't that neat? That's kind of a neat, neat thing. This one. I'll take a picture. And then you know what, kids? We're gonna say our revoir, and um, we're gonna sign off. We're gonna stir the apples. We're gonna say, hope you guys all had a safe holidays and a happy new year to you and yours, and to those that are not with us anymore. We are always thinking about you. And, uh, and the wolf den. A bit like that. Big old cancer moon. Hey, berries. Oh, I'll show you where the hummingbird nearly get me in the hat. <laughs> was the weather. I should be doing this apple stuff out here. In the, out here. But, um. Vines we are made wreaths out of. But, um. Y'all want to check this out. I didn't make some sense out of that thing. Eh? Can you see the hand and the oops? Some kind of what is that? Tell me what that is, please. Somebody, anybody. <laughs> okay, looks like my battery's gonna die if it hasn't already. We gotta go. Here's the hummingbird feeder, and I came out to stand here and and this is and it flew and it hit me in the head. It hit me in the headband, kitties. See ya.